In my last Project Arithmia video, I played Secret Boss, the latest part in Void Untold, a storyline that hasn't had any new levels in a year. It hasn't had a new part in quite a while, so, you know, maybe I need to refresh my memory on it a bit. So, I'm going to replay the Void Untold series by Dragon W1414 in its entirety. Now you see, the funny thing is, I had already started doing this, and I had already started recording it and everything. And the first level is Pure Gint. It's it's a it's an old level by Dragon W. That level crashed my game so hard that I had to restart my computer. I am not joking. When I said this, of course, Dragon W just replied, "Oh well, that's what you get for playing Pure Gint." <laughs> I guess I'll replay it now, but if it crashes my game again and I lose a recording again, I'm going to be very sad. There it is, all right next to Pier Gint and Pier Gint. Okay, let's play this level again. So, first part of Void Untold. This level is, like, it's pretty creative at least. I mean, I know obviously it hasn't aged the best, but it has some neat ideas, I think. And that's Wave. Hi, Wave. He's just, he's just a dude. Oh god, I forgot. The gameplay in this level is, is so... It's very first level gameplay. Mm. So this is probably going to be harder than Secret Boss, because it's just not fair. Oh god, I'm on one health. I'm going to die like any second now, right? Oh, yep, there. There we go. That, yep, saw that coming. Like, ugh, like, look at this. Like, you have to dash through this thing, that thing moves, but you can't really tell where that thing's going to move, and that thing moves while shooting the laser, I'm dead! I just need it. I just need to fight through... Mm. I'm seriously gonna die on this more than Secret Boss. Like, I die I did not die this much on Secret Boss, because it's like a readable level while still being hard. But oh, this level is just Yeah, you know what? I think Dragon W was right. This is what I get for playing for playing Pure Gents. <laughs> oh wait, hold on, never mind. So this is the part where the story of Void Untold really starts. Like, the rest of the level look normal, but you see that little red thing? That is what kicks off the story. See, see, he's just gonna grab that and then then get covered in like string or something. I don't know what it is. Like, and now he's evil and has eyes. Oh, oh well. Okay. Why are those so thick? I love gameplay. I oh wait, what did I get hit by down there? There was, there wasn't anything down there. Oh come on. I should really just do a video where I play all like the first levels of a ton of popular creators because the truth is. Everybody's first level sucks. That's just kind of like a fact. It's like, no matter what, the first thing you make an editor is gonna suck. But the good thing is that we can all laugh at that. Though I'm not laughing at it right now. I'm just screaming internally because I'm dying over and over again to absolute BS. <laughs> they're, oh my god, they're so far until the next checkpoint. Oh my god, what is this? What is this? No, what? What? No, it's like, what? How did that damage? This is not the best way to start out the video, I'll be real. This is the most I've died on the level so far in a video, and it's like... It's... it's Wave! I'm dying to Wave! Like, look at... look at this dude! That's embarrassing! I'm so sorry, Dragon W... Oh. Okay, so the Helper 1 damages you too? Why? Okay, that damages you, and I dash through that, and I dash through that again, and I dash through the... Oh my god! Wait, can I just camp? Hold on. There's nothing up here. Can I just sit up here? Oh my god, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way, I can just sit up- Yeah, there was no way. Okay, oh my god, the checkpoint is so close. I'm pretty sure this part is easy. Okay, yes, 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 oh my god, finally. I just need to like, move down here, and not get hit by the giant epilepsy. No, wait, no, wait, no, 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 don't, no, no, don't kill me with those, no. Oh, thank god. <laughs> thank god. <laughs> finally. I am never playing that f***ing level again. Never. I got an F rank. I know I got an F rank. How long did I spend on this level? I spent eight minutes on Wave. I'm sorry. It's just... <sighs> okay. Let's... Let's let's get to the next level already. So the next level in Void Untold, I realized I wasn't subscribed to it. And then I realized that it wasn't public on the workshop anymore. And it... I don't know what happened to it, because it was only in the collection, but it wasn't anywhere else. I couldn't, like, search it up on the workshop. But it was still, like, in the collection, it was still on YouTube, too, so... If I'm not supposed to be playing this, like, if this is no longer canon or something, I am truly sorry. Here it is, here it is, start your engines. It's the car level. It's the level with a car, because Void Untold has a level with a car. How could anybody forget that? Oh, wait, is the background for it broken? Because you have this storyline about, like, this eldritch entity. Come on. And then one of the bosses is... 
Wait, why did that damage? Honestly, maybe I should just skip this level. Okay, I'm almost... I was gonna say I'm almost caught up with where I was before, but... Come on. I know I didn't skip the last level, but I might just use the excuse that this isn't in the collection to skip this one. Come on, I gotta get through this... I gotta get through this level, because... The car is just, like, the funniest thing. I mean, this is the only level on the workshop where you can say, yeah, there's a car in this level. Dragon W, you should remake this level. I think we could use more cars on the workshop, honestly. I just realized... I'm playing the game with, like, Joy-Cons. And they're, they're like, drifting, like... You know what, yeah, I'm just skipping this level. Yeah, so I'm just gonna skip that level. I don't wanna have another situation like here again. So let's move straight on to Earthquake Remake. Here it is. This is probably the level in Void Untold that everybody remembers the most. And for good reason. The remake changes some things about the story. An earthquake it makes a few changes, and it's, of course, newer, so... Probably will go better than the last couple of levels. I gotta say, though, I'm really disappointed that there's no lyrics in the level anymore. Like, there was a thing in the original level where it, it crossed out one of the lyrics and said flame. Oh, hi, flame. Never mind. Okay, so she just comes out and admits that she's going to kill us. I gotta say, though, as far as, like, early bosses go, flame is probably one of the most standout designs. There aren't too many triangle bosses, I guess, but also, like... Oh, well, I already got hit. I'm definitely not making it through this drop in one piece. Yep. Yep. Called it. I gotta say, though, this is a really fun level. I love that attack with the giant laser. That's like the most iconic attack in the original level, I think. It, it fits the song so well. It's like one of those attacks you can really only do with this song. And I love those kind of attacks. And just a little bullet hell part again. Sort of similar to the part in um, Secret Boss, which I just played, actually. Like, it's cool to have that kind of continuity, where, like, there's similar attacks. And then she regrets what she was doing, and she's like, I had no reason to hurt you. I really do just destroy everything, don't I? Oh, and there's dialogue from us now. That's new. That wasn't in the original level. I know the big change in this level is that Nameless is, like, far less visible. Like, it's sort of working in the shadows, which is probably the coolest thing. Oh, and it grabs you. Like, look at this. It's like this shadowy thing. Okay. And then on the edge, on the edge, that's Wave. You see? Because Wave got, Wave got captured. That's so cool, actually. Oh, that is Speedster. That is the car. So I should have played the car level. <laughs> okay, well now I feel embarrassed. But it was, it was taken down from the workshop, right? So, it was only unlisted. And then there's this. God, this, the second drop of Earthquake. Like, the original level is great, but the remake just expands on it in so many cool ways. Like, with the entire shadow theming. And then... She slowly attacks Nameless. This is a little bit different than the original level, I think. In the original level, she's like building a wall. I think this is pretty cooler though, because it, it's just kind of neat. Well, we're safe. For now, probably. For now, yeah. <laughs> That's what I just said. Does this make up for me trying to kill you? Yeah, it does. Yeah, we're friends now. Yep. Goodbye. So yeah, that was Earthquake Remake. And I gotta say, it's still like the remake it's one of those remakes that improves on like a classic level that has so much room to improve and does it in so many good ways. I really love that remake, honestly. All right, let's look at Steam again. Um, what's the next level? Um, yeah, see, there are Star Engines. It's only in here. I can't find it when I search up for it for some reason. Okay. Oh wait, where would Earthquake remake go? Oh, it's down there for some reason. So I didn't play it out of order. So next would be Firewall. Firewall is probably one of my favorite older levels by Dragon W. Yep, here it is. This is like such a unique level. Look, look. The How Elimination Annihilation Protocol. Elimination Annihilation. <laughs> Heap has been created for your destruction. Can you survive its different forms? I'm really looking forward to this because, see, look at that. It like assembles itself and everything. And it's literally a heap of junk. Like this scrap metal of a boss. It's so interesting, honestly. Like, look at this. It's just, it just changes itself every time. That's so cool. I really love like, this gimmick. And I know that Dragon W plans on making another level with this boss. I am very excited for that. Oh, come on. This boss is probably, like, one of the most unique bosses on the workshop. I don't know what the lore of this boss is off the top of my head, though. Like, I don't know where it came from. It just kind of is there. Like, obviously, I'm assuming that Nameless is involved, but I mean, there is red, but there is blue, too. So, somebody had to build this robot. I'm assuming it was Nameless, but... That wouldn't make sense. I'm pretty sure that there's like this thing where, um, the colors in the boss mean different things for the attacks. 
Oh, you're a rocket now. The blue attacks, there's more of them. The red attacks, there's less of them, but there's bigger. It's a really neat color theming, I guess. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm just going to dash through both of them. Nope, never mind. I got hit. Um, I'm almost there. All right, you want to, like, take a break? Charge down a little bit? Oh, now there's green. I don't really know, like, what the green color means, honestly. The red and blue, you can sort of catch on to it, but... Oh. There you go, free charge. Oh, hey, come on. It's so funny, like, gameplay standards have definitely changed over the years. So all the old levels haven't really aged well. Alright, you're all charged up now. Okay. God, that coloring detail is always gonna get me. It's so cool. I don't know what those are. I'm guessing those are, like, some sort of wings. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. What is this? How do I dodge- how do I dodge this? What? Oh my god, I can literally just go down here the entire time. That's so stupid. Okay, I made it through that way quicker than I thought I would. Oh, that's cool. Oh, never mind. I can definitely just camp down here. That's so funny. Okay. Okay, what? See, this is why I'm excited for a new heat level, because it'll be good. Like, it'll have all the good ideas this one has, but it'll be fun. <laughs> oh my god, I have to go through this? No! <laughs> I was so close to the checkpoint there. No, wait, I've got only one hit left. I'm redoing that. Okay. So the trick here is just to dash through three lasers at once. And not hit the walls. Stop giving me your toughest battles, Heat. I love this. I love this boss concept so much. Why? Ah. Just being clear, everybody is guilty of having earlier levels like this. Like... I don't want- don't take this as something that detracts from Void Untold. This happens in literally every level creator's history. I've done it a lot, too. Have you seen Shape of the Sun? Have you seen- have you seen 10,000? Okay, checkpoint, thank god. Okay, I'm almost there. I just need to, like, not- not stupidly die. This section seems light- no. Okay, I have- I have full health now, so I should be able to get through this easier. Pull out the double lasers again, of course, because I love dashing through lasers, three and one. Oh my god, why is it bigger? Why is it going faster? What? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, this is actually pretty straightforward. You just gotta, like, dash. Oh, oh, come on. Please don't kill me. I'm so close. Please. Come on. I'm literally so close. Like, don't, like, kill me as you leave the screen. Okay, goodbye. Thank god. Ah, oof, that didn't go so great. Yeah, it, it really didn't. God, I love the concept of heap. I love the concept of heap so much. What is the next level? Oh, Enigma. Enigma. Egg, 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 enigma. It is how you pronounce it, I think. All right, I'll finish off with this level. I think that'll put me like, I forget how many levels are in the storyline, but I think it'll put me like close to halfway now. This is probably one of my, um, the coolest bosses in Void Untold. Like, um, Azani is taken by Nameless, even though he was one of the ones who summoned it. One of my favorite Void Untold characters, I'll be real. Which, by the way, in the last video, I said, Oh, well, there's gonna be more characters returning in Void Untold since Flame and Hydra just died at the end of the last level. So maybe Zani will come back. And then, like, literally immediately after I recorded that video, Dragon W said, Yeah, lol, Zani is gone. <laughs> I said the Legion of Order thought we could control Nameless, but it escaped our grasp. It seemed everything is dangerous, so it's trying to control everything. So yeah, the lore is that Zani summoned Nameless, like... Nameless is like this force of order, so that makes Flame, and by extension Hydra, well not by extension Hydra, literally Hydra, forces of chaos, which is pretty cool. It's like this entire storyline is a battle of order versus chaos, which is probably a, it's really sick theming honestly. It's really cool how like, Zani starts off with only his, ah, uh, Zani starts off with like only his hands possessed, or corrupted, or whatever. Like if you look here, you see the hands are attacking him, it's kind of interesting to think about. Maybe I'm reading into it too much. Okay, dash through that. Uh, I love I love spamming dash. Okay, I hit another checkpoint, so at least if I get screwed over. Okay, that attack is really cool. I like that attack. <laughs> that's probably, like, a, that's a super unique attack. Like, it isn't perfectly warmed, I guess. It's kind of hard to warm, but it's it's a super cool attack. Uh, I'm gonna get screwed over by this part again, am I? See, that's another thing about, like, that sucks with, like, some older storylines, that, like, the ear earlier levels have, like, zero difficulty balance. Like, some of them will be super easy in some parts, some of them will be hard in some parts. Like, like this this part is definitely a difficulty spike. It's cool to see people improve, though, because, like, as you go through a lot of storylines, things definitely improve, which is really cool. It's like, you see the storyline evolve with the creator. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
What are you doing? Oh my god. Why is it spinning so fast? Why is it sp what? What? Okay. Oh my god. Now I have to redo all this again? Oh my god. Okay, so I'm guessing for this, can I just camp in the middle? Is that like a thing? I know. So I just gotta camp like close to him, right? Close to him. Clo ah! This level was really just gonna be me dying over and over again to this section and making noises, right? Okay. I'm at this part with one health again, which is a recipe for disaster. Oh, oh, ah! Can I just camp right here? I can. Oh my god. No, wait, it's getting, it's getting smaller. Okay, please don't kill me with this. Please don't. Oh. Did I get the checkpoint? Okay, thank god I got the checkpoints. Okay, are you doing good? Because I'm not. I like this too, because it's another attack that really syncs well with the music. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It just sounds like lightning or electricity in this part of the song. Oh, I don't like this thing. Oh. Oh, how are you supposed to dodge that? What? Oh my god. There's no more checkpoints in the level. Okay, this attack- Oh! Never mind. What? If the remake taught me anything, it's that the gameplay in this in this series definitely gets better. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Am I going no hit this? I'm going no hit this? No, never mind. Okay, so just gotta dash at like the exact time. Never mind. Did not dash at the exact time. That actually worked. Yeah. I know what to do. Bring back the monster, destroy the reactor, release Hydra. Yep, that's the war. So that's- this is like really where the lore starts to kick in even more, because like, the reactor thing comes up in a different level. It's, um, Meltdown, which I'll play that next time I get to this series, I guess. And Hydra, of course, well, I just played Secret Boss. You guys all know who Hydra is. The Agent of Chaos, who I guess is like the, you know, the chaotic version of Nameless. You could think of it that way. Although Hydra isn't nearly as eldritch. Hydra is just like a silly guy. <laughs> which I think is so funny. <laughs> it's like the most chaotic being in the universe is just this really silly guy. But I think you guys know what time it is now. It is time to look at the lore. The end of video lore time. This is something that I did in the last video for Void Untold and people really liked it. So I'm gonna do it again. So wave. Um, I don't know why the font looks like that. Um, hold on, let me fix that real quick. I'm a wiki editor, so. No, not just a wiki editor, I'm a wiki admin, so... Um, let's see, fix the fonts. This is an edit I am doing during a video. Please subscribe. Wave's the character in Void Untold created by Dragon W. He's the first character to appear and the first one to be corrupted by Nameless, notably. I think what's interesting, though, is, like, what's probably most interesting is looking here at, like, Nameless. Nameless is obviously the main antagonist, but, um, Nameless is not from this world. I guess that's kind of to be expected. It's, like, um, this big eldritch thing by the Legion of Order in their fight against the Agents of Chaos, particularly to defeat a terrible monster. In Monster, this creature is revealed to be Inferno. Now, I don't remember that level the best. I'm obviously going to replay it, but I believe Inferno is like the fusion of um, Flame and Hydra. Like, there are two parts of... So, wait a second. I said Hydra was like the... Um, Hydra is like the alternative to Nameless before, but wouldn't that make um, Inferno the alternative, really? It first appeared directly in Earthquake, Appears, reappear by attacking Hal indirectly, with its presence often being indicated by its red tendrils. And Zani, of course, tried to summon it, but got screwed over. So, Nameless, obviously, um, I guess the Legion of Order. It's this um, group of people, and um, fighting against chaos. Kind of self-explanatory, but Nameless is going a little bit too far and is trying to exert total control over everything. Tries to remove um, any information about itself, hates the player, says a randomized encrypted message before the second drop of a monster. One of these messages has been translated as, I'm being watched. Wait, wait a second. So this is something I just realized. I just realized this. Like, I, do, I don't know how I didn't notice this in the last, last level, but... So if we look at here, um, at this part of Secret Boss, in the middle, you know this part where, um, I mentioned it in the video I did of it. It, where Nameless says, Nameless says, I'm not a boss, I'm not a monster, I'm not corruption, I shouldn't exist. So, I guess it's kind of to be expected because Nameless is like this eldritch thingy majig, but that sounds like a meta angle. I'm being watched, I'm not a boss. So Nameless is obviously self-aware that it's a boss, and probably is not a fan of that. I wonder if that connects to the reasoning why Nameless is controlling everything. I mean, obviously Nameless is controlling everything because it's like this controlling force. Like, um, here's the thing, in this sign in, um, Meltdown, which I'll, I mean, I haven't played it yet, but I'll be getting to it, of course, um, the Nameless is being redacted by, like, Nameless itself. Like, Nameless is covering up that information, so I wonder if that's connected to, like, Nameless obviously doesn't like being part of a storyline 
because people know more about it as a result. In which case, um... <laughs> <laughs> in which case, me trying to decipher the lore behind Nameless is probably something that it wouldn't be a fan of. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, Nameless. Um, <laughs> sorry, Nameless. <laughs> Does that mean I delete this page because Nameless doesn't like having a page about itself on the wiki, probably? <laughs> That's really funny, actually, to think about. <laughs> the more you theorize about Nameless, the more pissed off it gets. And I guess over here, um, HEAP, short for How Elimination Annihilation Protocol. Illumination and Annihilation is one hell of a rhyme, I gotta say. Fears to be assembled very quickly due to its regular design and scrap metal body. So somebody built it, like, out of nowhere to deal with the player. And in Meltdown, Heap is shown on the sign in the background alongside other characters, but is not described. So, I haven't gotten to Meltdown yet, but it's like this facility where you go to and you go to destroy the reactor. It's gotta be related to the Legion of Order, right? Obviously, it, it was what led to freeing Hydra, so... You had to destroy that to free Hydra. Either the Legion of Order was keeping track of people there, or the Legion of Order is who built Heap. But I'm assuming that there's red text at the beginning, so like, maybe Nameless is connected somehow? I don't really know. And yeah, Heap's name is both an acronym and a reference to its status as a heap of trash. And last but not least, the Zani. Doesn't look like there's anything interesting here. Um, he obviously regrets his reasons, and notably though and i guess this is important like nameless is control zani is the only person to break free from it but anyway yeah it was really fun to go over the lore again and to play through the level so far well actually no it wasn't that fun it was painful but i still had fun regardless and it was it was great and i'm looking forward to revisiting the rest of the storyline and if you guys want to see me play more void untold then be sure to let me know in the comments like the video and subscribe with notifications so you don't miss out on what i'm doing next Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, Juice Gang.